So what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am the one and only Chef Lee and as you can see, I am off duty. So today, I want to do another review on O'Donnell's Moonshine. It's a product, a moonshine, a drink that I came across a couple of years ago now at the NEC Craft Show and I've had a couple of their products and I really, really like them. So I just want to review another one uh, that I have tried. So let's get into it. Guys, as you saw in the thumbnail, I have got some O'Donnell's uh, Very Cherry Moonshine. Now, I've tried a couple of their other ones before, but I haven't brought them to product review, purely because uh, I drank them too quickly. Now, this isn't the video that I wanted to do. The video that I wanted to do was of the passion fruit one. Now, I brought that just before Christmas. I went to the craft show again just before Christmas, and I intended to do a video on that one, but I drank it. And I can't find it, it's not on their website. So if anyone's seen any O'Donnell's Moonshine, please let me know in the comments where I can get it. And then I'll do that and have a review. You don't believe me, look. Uh, so yeah, that went down pretty much before I could even uh, make a review on it because it was that nice. Uh, so I will try and find some of that and then bring you that review because it is really, really good. So anyway, I'm going to try this stuff. It's 40%. Uh, volume 20% proof 700 mil I brought two of these and I think they came out at 26 pounds each uh, on the website there might be a little bit more a little bit less I think this was a promotion so I don't know I haven't looked on their website just yet but anyway let me go ahead and try it uh, open it try it and see what it's like now the last one I tried was the wild berry and that I said was like cowpo was like uh, Tixilix, that kind of stuff. It was like medicine. It went down really, really nicely. So I'm assuming this is going to be something similar and uh, going to taste just as good. Uh, if you're new around here, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification because it really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps the channel grow. And I've got some big things that I want to do this year. And I've got one big thing that I think you might like. So um, if you want to be a part of that, hit the subscribe button. Also, I now have a, a members uh, section. So if you want, if you'd like to become a channel member, please do go ahead and hit the join button. Uh, it's three pound ninety nine a month, three pound a month, something like that. So if you'd like to support the channel in that way, go ahead and do that, and I thank you for it. Because uh, I'm thinking about this year doing maybe a couple of live streams, like once a month, uh, to interact with my subscribers, my my channel members, and putting out um, exclusive content for the channel members. So if you'd like to be involved in that, please do go ahead and get involved and hit that button. Right, so let me get on and make this stuff. Not that it's going to take long. Right, so throw a bit of ice in there. So, gonna have a quick smell. Oh, that smells like glacé cherries. Now, if any of you don't know what that is, it's like cherries that have been um, boiled down in very, very um, strong liquor. And that's what this is exactly what it smells like. You use it in stuff like um, black black forest gattos and stuff like that. It really gives a nice flavour. It's very, very sharp, very, very powerful. So this is what that smells like. So, let's try it. Oh, that could be dangerous. It goes down very, very nicely, especially with some ice. You might be able to hear that clinking. Oh, has a tiny, tiny bit of harshness at the end of it. But I think that's because it's it's twenty percent volume. But it's 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 nothing like a really harsh beer. It's not like. Um, what I find to be quite harsh is like Stella, where it's very, very harsh on the back of the throat. This isn't, it's very soft, but it's got a little, oh, I know you're there. The 
uh, passion fruit one that I tried that didn't have any of that it just went down really really easy I mean this almost takes like tastes like cheeky vimto if you don't know what a cheeky vimto is I I made one in my vlogmas video a couple of years ago now so go ahead check that out it's very very simple to make but this kind of tastes like that but this is a lot more powerful Ooh. that can get you drunk very very quickly because it doesn't feel like alcohol it doesn't it just feels like a liqueur um you don't taste any alcohol you don't get any of that vodka or rum where you get that harshness at the end of it that is very this is very very smooth and basically uh, moonshine is an unaged whiskey if you have if you don't know anything about uh, how moonshine and nascar came together check out my first video on moonshine or i think it's my second video on moonshine where i explain the origins of moonshine and how that then spawned one of the biggest car franchises in the world well at least in america um so yeah I'm, i think i'm gonna buy a couple of more of these and i missed out just topping myself up i missed out because it's january now on their calendar i didn't realize they did an advent calendar now that would have been awesome to do the advent calendar and open it and make a, either a short or a video on it every single day. I didn't know they did that. So hopefully this year they do that. And I can bring you that, that videos. But yeah, this is really, really nice. It's quite dark. I had the Wild Berry, which was my previous video to this. And this is about twice as dark, but just as good. <laughs> mm. Make sure you drink responsibly. And also make sure you have something to eat before you drink this because this will get into your bloodstream and put you to sleep real quick now i haven't had anything to eat yet it is now three o'clock something like that and i haven't had anything to eat yet so it's a good job i'm not working i'm not driving i'm not doing any of that please don't drink and drive so i'm just going to enjoy this and uh yeah so i first came across old donald's moonshine like i say at the craft show in birmingham a couple of years ago now time's gone so quick and I thought, you know what, let's try it. It's a new brand. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. And ever since then, I've been quite loyal to the brand. Every time I go to the craft show and they're there, I buy at least a couple of bottles. They have quite an extensive range of uh, moonshines and I want to get through them. Some of them I'm not going to try because I don't like uh, nuts. I don't, I'm not a fan of nuts. I don't like nuts. They've got a macadamia and a tough, macadamia and tough nut um, moonshine. So if you like that, go ahead. I'll leave a link in the in the description box below by the way i'm not paid for any of this although if uh, moonshine you are watching please because i really do love this product um so yeah every time i go there and i see them i buy a couple of bottles and they have quite a good range uh, my favorites so far are the lemon drizzle because that goes down so so well and well in fact all of them i've liked so far there's the only one i have i had a little try a little sip of the macadamia didn't like that but again i don't like nuts that's nothing to do with with the product itself i'm just not a nut lover at all uh but yeah all the ones that i've tried and i've brought i've really really liked the passion fruit one this didn't even make it two weeks over christmas and it was gone so um yeah i want to get another one of those if i can find it and then i'll bring you a view on that one oh, you really need to try this it is so good it doesn't have the same kind of tixilix cowpo taste it's got a little hint of it, but not as much as the wild berry or the very berry, whatever it's called. I think it's wild berry or wild berry. This is this is very cherry, so it's the other one's wild berry. But yeah, this is an awesome drink, and I think I'll always have as long as this company's trading, I'll always have one of these in my cabinet somewhere, so I can always have a cheeky little drink of it. But that is going to be the end of this video guys so i know it's a short one but thank you for making it this far in the video thank you for my supporters again if you'd like to be a channel member please go ahead hit that button and help the channel grow and keep watching and i'll see you next time take care stay safe and i'll see you in a bit